Welcome back to school. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I like my girls just like I like my honey. Before I get started, please hit that subscribe button down below because I post videos, you know, pretty regularly. So let's just get started. I wanted to post a video where I just give some advice on like everyday makeup for school. I know a lot of you are in middle school or in high school or even in college. But this is very realistic, it's very beginner friendly and not too expensive. I'm trying to include as many like drugstore options as possible because I know that a lot of you are bougie but you on a budget, you know? <laughs> I first wipe down my face. My cellar water, this is a great option when you're in a rush in the morning and you just want to wipe down your face. I put the Pixi Rose Blend Oil all over my face. Personally, I like using oils a lot of the time. After you do that, I have two different like options for primers. For school, if you are more of like a dry skin type, you can use something like the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. There are other options for primers that are for people with more oily skin. I do have some more expensive primers, but there's one called the um, NYX Angel Veil that I definitely recommend. A couple of my friends with oily skin use that primer and it's really, really good for mattifying and helps you to stay matte all day long. So I'm gonna take two pumps of this and just start working it on my face. The look that I'm gonna do is very quick. You can do this in like five minutes if you're not, you know, talking as much as I am. If you want to wake up an hour early, that's fine. But when I was in high school, you get exhausted. You're doing all this homework, you're taking like six to eight classes, and then you have extracurricular activities. You're trying to still be social, or even if you're not social, if you're introverted, you still got to go home and relax and try to regather your thoughts and like try to like get ready for the next day like it's a lot high school is a lot this is the hd studio photogenic concealer by nyx this is in the color sand beige they have a lot of color options if you want to get something a little bit nicer you could always go to like urban decay and get one of theirs i like to apply it on my chin a pimple on my on my uh cheek right here i'm actually going to zoom in now that we've done um our little intro Okay, so I like to apply on the sides of my nose. This helps really bring brightness to the face and slim the nose down. And I like to go down the sides of my face right here. I get a lot of um, hormonal redness around my nose. That's what that is. If you ever get any redness around your nose, it's usually because of hormones. And you can just cover that right on up. Sometimes I feel like when the hormone redness is showing, it kind of makes you like look tired. And then taking the Morphe sponge, you can order this online or go to the stores in person if you live near one. This is like seven bucks. That's the job. In high school, this is really one of the only things that I did. I wore concealer, bronzer, and mascara. And that was it every single day. But some people really do like to wear a few products every day just to feel like put together. And sometimes when you start like not doing the things that make you feel confident, um, you'll you'll just feel messy that day and that's not good. Like if, if makeup's not your thing, you can, you know, do your hair or maybe put an outfit together that you like. Or if you don't care about like putting together outfits, at least wear the clothes that make you feel comfortable. Like do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Because if you feel confident, you got the whole day in your hands. You can do you can take over the world when you're confident. Okay. Now, if you can see here, I'm not covering up all of my like acne scars, like nobody's perfect. Okay, and now having placed all of that on my face, I am going to set my face with some powder. So I'm going to take the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Powder and set the areas that I get oily. Now for when you're in school, you're going to be like out for a really, really long time and you can either bring powder with you or you can, you know, just set your face before you leave. So I am going to set under my eyes after I blend them out. Oh, some of that peach powder went in my mouth and that tasted really good. <laughs> areas that I tend to get oily are right here on my forehead. And, um, you know, you can pat and swipe. It's better to pat because you don't want to move it around. Pat the chin. I usually get oily around my chin. I get oily on the sides of my face right here, closer to my nose. And this is a really good powder if you can get it because it will really keep you matte like almost all day long. Cheaper option would definitely be the Fit Me um, powder by Maybelline. And now taking a more peachy colored like blush, I'm gonna take Warm Soul by MAC. 
This isn't too expensive. There's a lot of really pretty options that are from um, Milani that I would definitely recommend. They're baked blushes. There's one called Luminoso that's really, really pretty. When I'm like in a rush, I like to get like a warm toned blush and use it like as a bronzer. You see how that color just kind of comes back into the face? So it's not like so pink that it makes you look like you just ran your like seven minute mile or 12 minute mile like I did in high school. <laughs> and then finally, for the face makeup, we're going to take the Wet n Wild Highlight Powder. Um, you know, this is a really, really good highlighter. Obviously, I really like things like the Dose of Color highlighters or like Anastasia highlighters. That is expensive and these are really, really beautiful. The color is really nice, this one right here. It's a pretty golden undertone. Put it on my brush and then put it on my cheeks. When you smile and you see like where the top of your cheek is, that's where you apply your highlighter. Don't like put it like so close to your eye right here, like right under your eye. Try to apply it like right at the top of your cheek, you know, like where, where the light would hit, you know, down the nose and then put it a little bit right on the tip of your nose. Yes, look at that girl. Now for a super easy eye look. Um, and not having to buy more stuff. Take your blush and take like a fluffy eye, like crease brush. There's a lot of Morphe that are like five bucks, a crease brush. This one is Morphe M46. And just place that in your crease. Start bringing some life. And then taking some of that highlighter that we use, just getting some on my finger. Just applying that all over my lid. Another really great way to just feel a little bit more put together is to fill in your brows. If you don't have a lot of brow hairs, that is where I would start. I like to use a pencil just because I feel like it looks more natural and it's easier to brush out if you mess up. I like to fill in my brows. Let me know if you ever want like a brow tutorial and I can bring in like a few um, of my friends that don't have as much brow hair as I do because I, I do have quite a few brow hairs already. This isn't necessarily like the first day of school because I know y'all are like wanting to like to be like Nikki tutorials on your first day. As for mascara, I'm going to take the Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal and just coat my lashes. And if this is even too much for you, just put mascara on. You know, it's gonna make you feel cute. Okay, and now that the mascara is on, I am feeling like, look at, look at me. I'm ready to give a presentation. Ready to get called into the principal's office. So this is a lip liner. I'm trying to wear some lip liner because I'm trying to be Kylie and have some juicy lips. And my, the lip liner I'm taking is from NYX again. And it's the color Mauve. This is a great color for every day. It's good on a lot of skin tones. Not trying to go crazy here. We're here for school, okay? And then you go on top. And I like to use the lip liner almost as like a lipstick because it makes it last all day. I showed these lip glosses in my most recent video. I just think the packaging is cute for school, you know, it's like a conversation starter. The L'Oreal lip glosses I love because they have like a fat brush. They remind me of the Fenty Beauty ones. So this is the color Camilla. Yes. And that is the look. We'll only take like, I'm not, I don't even have time to set my face right now. My parents are yelling at me. I gotta get out the door, you know? Like I try, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go get my, my permit. Ask my class. I'm trying to go take my SATs, you know? You don't have this highlight? You wanna try some? You can barely tell that it's on.